this video we're going to discuss the enhanced uh, Excel-based estimating uh, using data from standard data libraries and also being able to take the results of the estimates and passing them directly into the process analysis and creating additional data libraries. Uh, the Excel-based estimating is actually accessible if you're using the video time study. It's from the toolbox area, Excel-based estimating right here. If you're using the uh, PDA-based time study is directly from the main menu in the toolbox area again in this area, Excel-based estimating using the data libraries. Let's go back to the Video Timer Pro here and we'll click on the Excel-based estimating and it's going to ask us for a name so we're going to call it uh, estimate-per1 and then we click on the open. This will bring up our Excel sheet here. A um, couple of things. Uh, the top area here, you can customize it to make it whatever you want for your own company, your own logo, and so forth. Uh, the main thing is that down here, you're going to have some areas where you're going to have the activity, whether it's value added, non value added, required non value added, the time, the frequency, and the total time. Okay, and it says here to access the standard data libraries, double click on any row. Now notice down here there's two sheets, there's basically an est estimating sheet and there's a summary sheet. This is where we're actually going to roll up uh, any number of estimates you have here. So let's say you had five operations, this would be one operation, you create another one and so forth, all the way down you can have any number of operations and they'll all be rolled up into the summary in the enhanced estimating uh, program here. So I go back to the estimating area here, I do exactly what it tells me to do, double click on any row and double click on it, it brings up the data libraries. Uh, now the data libraries will get access to many different data libraries within the package. The package comes with 17,000 standard data types. If I bring up the flowchart again, you see here, here's the standard data library and here's the estimating module here. So from the data library, uh, which you can see in a separate section in the video area here, uh, you're going to actually develop your estimates down here. Just going to click on the exit here. And the first thing you do is you identify the activity that you want to build. But first I'm going to just identify the operations. Let's just say it's, uh, it's uh, station number one. And it can be anything in your line here. And you come down here and you put in the first activity. So let's say get stock to work area. And we have to identify whether it's value added or non value added. So let's say it's required non value added, but R. So again, it's N for non value added, uh, V for value added, R for required, but non value added. So we identify the activity, get stock to work area is being required, but non value added. And then we come down to the line below. And just like it says here to access standard data libraries, double click on any row. So we double click on this row here, and it brings up our data library here. And what you see here is an electrical and an electronics module. I can change the library by clicking on change library here. I'm going to go to my general purpose because general purpose gives me things like gets and places and so forth. So let's say to get the uh, item I'm going to work on, I have to do some body motions. I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk per pace and let's say I'm going to walk 10 paces. Right? And then I'm going to get something, so get place here. So I'm going to get the part. It's easily grasped. It's in a very fixed location, and let's say it was uh, 15, inch, 15 to 20 inches away here. Right? And then I'm going to walk back. So I'm going to click on body motions. Walk back. So many paces. Let's say 10 paces again. Right? And then I'm going to place it down. So it's uh, place part. And it was a loose fit, non symmetrical so many inches away. Right. So that's the end of my process here. I click on the save. It dumps it back in here and you'll see what's happened here. It's actually documenting the different tasks here, given the frequency and doing the multiplication for me here to give me my total time. To show you what's happening here, as we build it up here, we've got the activity, station number. The first task is get stock to work area. If identified it being required but non value added. If I'm right now, I'm going to say summarize all sheets. It brings it in. Here's your station number one. Get stock to work area. It's required. And here's the total time. So what's actually happened is it's summed up 
all of the activities below here, you can see they all add up to 0.2 at the minute, and there's the 0.2 being displayed here. So the basic idea is that for each of the uh, tasks that you have, you identify each of the activities, and then you call your data libraries and build up the data here. So the next one might be assemble per spec, and then we say that's going to be a value added, so we put a V in here, and then we double click on the row below, and we start making our selections for that activity. In this case now, I'm going to switch perhaps to my electrical and electronics module. This is come, one of the packages that comes with the package here. And let's say we wanted to click on here and do some cable harness. We prepare the wire, we cut strip, cut to length, and then we can cut strip it. And then we're going to do some crimping. So we'll crimp the first pin. And we'll do each additional, let's say there's four additional. Right? And then we're going to and bundle it. And that's good for this uh, particular uh, step here. So we click on the save. It dumps it back in here again. And here we see the data being dumped back in here. So now we get two activities as part of our process. If I go back to the summary here, you can see the last one is still here, but I'm just going to reset that and summarize all sheets. And here you'll see the second activity being added down here. So the idea is you continue doing this for each of the different tasks, and as each of the different activities in this particular task, until you have to scrape the full task uh, for your process. Now let's say we wanted to name this one. We can come in here, just rename it. This could be Station 1. Right? And let's say we wanted to find Station 2. So you just like any other one, we do Excel, insert a worksheet. Right? We're going to call this station two. Right, and you probably want to get the same information, the same header data. So we just copy this here and come over to station two, paste it right in here. Right, and we can space it out a little bit better. And remember, this would be your actually your your uh, customized uh, presentation. And it's not going to be station one anymore. It's going to be station number two. And then you start describing it in exactly the same way. So let's say here you might say uh, check the stock list. Right? And let's say that was required, not value added again before the guy starts. Double click on it, call your uh, data library, and start building up that particular uh, process again here. So that's how you build up your estimate. You continue adding the different tasks that you're interested in measuring, and then for each one of them, you define the different activities that might be involved in performing that particular task. Uh, when you're finished, you go back to the summary and you click on the summarize all sheets. And the summary of the complete complete process will be displayed. You can see all the way down here through station number five for each of the stations here. Now, once you've got it to this point, it's a simple matter. If you want to send it to your line balancing, you click on send to balance, give it a couple of seconds, and here's all your information uh, presented in the uh, line balancing from where you can access all the various tools we have, Yamazumi charting, balancing and so forth. You can drag work around from station to station. Everything you can do in the regular package you've got to very easily directly from your estimate. Um, if you want to use the data to develop higher level standard data libraries, you simply click on send to data library and the information summarized here will be made available for you to start building your own data libraries that you can uh, find out more about from our video section. So this again summarizes how you can use the uh, new Excel-based uh, estimating to quickly uh, identify the different tasks that may be involved in your processes, get a summary, and pass it into the line balancing and data libraries here.